have a memory of the very first piece of jewelry you admired? I do, and it's those pastel candy necklaces that you could put around your neck and just chew on them and make them last all day and bite them, and they were so good. But now I want to share with you my real jewelry. Stay tuned. Hi, everyone. Thanks for um, stopping by. And I don't know what else to say except stopping by, because I guess if you're tuned in, you're kind of stopping by. So, welcome. Um, if you like this video, um, please give it a thumbs up. And um, if you really like it, I'd love to have you subscribe. Today we're going to talk about jewelry and some of my favorite pieces. You know, I've always liked jewelry ever since I was a kid, loving dime store jewelry, or it even stems farther than that. It's the candy necklaces that we used to kind of looking, well, this isn't a candy necklace, but the really pretty pastel -y necklaces that were candy and that you could just put them in your mouth and chew on them while you're riding your bike and be sticky and ooey and gooey and just savor those memories from way back when, when I was a kid, and I loved those candy necklaces. They only cost a nickel back then, or maybe it was two for a nickel, I can't remember, but I thought they were yummy, and of course, I would always make sure that whenever I was treated to one of those, that it would last me several days, so you can just imagine how ooey gooey and yucky that was, but uh, who cared? I survived. But today I thought I'd come on and share with you some of my very favorite um, jewelry pieces. Pieces that have sentimental value to me. Now, not all of them, but pieces that I wear on a regular and routine basis and just some of my very, very favorites. So um, I'm going to start off first with two costume jewelry pieces. Now I have a lot of costume jewelry. I want to share with you a couple of costume jewelry pieces that um, go back to my childhood because they belong to my mom. And I'm not even sure if some of these pieces may not have um, belonged to my grandma. This is just, and you talk about heavy, heavy costume jewelry. This was it. Um, it had a nice um, base to clip so that you could extend it or make it as short as you wanted. Um, and it's uh, done in these little uh, tiny rhinestone and um, white little um, kind of flower um, design with a uh, center in kind of a champagne-y um, stone. Uh, glass stone and uh, I don't remember if this might have been my grandmother's originally um, just as probably dime store jewelry Woolworth I don't know but it's a very heavy piece and I've kept it for all these years and occasionally I have worn it um, so it was that particular piece and this piece it was this little um, rhinestone blue necklace that just hooked in the back. And um, what I would do, and you just wear it like so. Now, I can't honestly say that I have worn this, but I suppose it would be very much in style. But what I used to do, and when I was a kid, um, growing up and playing, when I was a kid, I used to bobby pin it here and I used to play that uh, you know I was the princess or the queen or whatever and just let those things dangle and put bobby pins in it and uh, that's the memory I have with this necklace so these are just two necklaces that I have kept throughout the years um, that are costume jewelry that just hold some memories for me in my mind next just kinda just share well of course my wedding ring is um, a very beautiful um, piece that has um, the two outside um, bands that have the diamonds and then the center bands and I've just had them soldered. Now, this is not the wedding ring that we started out with 36 years ago when we got married. Um, actually, there's a little story behind that and um, we really couldn't afford a whole lot 
way back then when we first got married because we were young, but this is the little stone um, that was in my wedding set back then that I had for many, many years until my husband replaced my wedding ring. Um, together we went and picked one out and ooh, I think it was probably on our 25th maybe anniversary that we did that. And then I just had that stone placed in um, just another little band that I picked out and so that I could still have it and wear it. And, um, you know, it's, there's just a story behind this and maybe someday I'll share that, but this is my band now and I wear my wedding rings all day, every day. And Really, the only time I do take them off is to clean them. Another little ring that has a lot of sentimental value to me is this little gold band. And you can see it's super thin. Um, this happens to be my grandmother's wedding band. I do not wear it on this finger. I usually wear it with my wedding rings and I put it on first. But my hands are a little bit tight and swollen. Um, higher humidity today so I just wanted to take it off and just place it there so I could show it to you but that was given to me um, by my mom um, that she acquired it once my grandma passed away and she wore this thin band many many years and I sometimes I'm just so afraid of losing it and uh, it's happened a time or two where I've taken my ring off and that little band was just attached and it kind of went flying and it was spotted and found so make a mental note of that but anyway so that's very endearing and I love wearing it because it just reminds me of her I also have but it's my dad's wedding band um, and it's a very thick gold band and my dad worked on the railroad for a bajillion years and uh, he just never ever got into jewelry ever if I ever saw him with the watch on it was because he was dressed up for some special occasion and he'd always fidget with her. He just wasn't that kind of guy. And so his wedding band was just beautiful, gorgeous. I mean, because he just had it and it didn't get worn. And so when my dad passed, my mom passed that wedding ring down to me. So I have it. And, um, you know, I've thought about sizing it for myself. My dad had a pretty good size hand and, you know, that's a lot of gold to just solder down and I just left it because it's just, I just have. Anyways, so that's another pretty piece, um, but it's just a traditional gold band. Another um, beautiful sentimental piece are these simple gold earrings and these were earrings that my grandmother um, bought for me um, when my uncle took a trip I believe to Italy and um, she told my uncle to uh, buy me some jewelry and my mom I believe said get her the hoop earrings because you know way back then when I've had these hoop earrings since high school and that was back in the early 70s. So they're quite old. I wore them a lot. Um, they slip out like that. And I actually have had to have one of these earrings sought, resoldered, and um, because the piece went missing, because I wore these all the time. These were so popular. Um, back when I was in high school and um, they're solid gold and you know I still wear them to this day and I love them I'm very conscientious about them when I have them on they have a good clasp and all but just because that one wiggled loose and I had to have it resoldered which you know was great I'm just always mindful that you know I would really be so sad if I lost this pair so next I'm going to talk about a piece of jewelry that um, I acquired probably mm, about 12 years ago I think it's been that long 10 10, 12 years ago, I, I, I'm just not sure, somewhere around there, but it happens to be a piece that I wear 
all the time, every day, almost every day without fail. And it's just my little um, Tiffany bean necklace. Now this is the um, the mini little bean necklace and um, I wear this every day and I probably should be cleaning it a lot more but I just wear this all the time. And um, it has a little significance because it was um, when I started working at um, the last hospital that um, I was working at, um, we one year got a little bit of a bonus. It was just one of those bonuses that I said, you know, I'm going to treat myself to something so that I can remember just how hard we do work. So I took that bonus money, or just a part of it, and I went and treated myself to this bean necklace. And the bean necklace um, also was kind of significant to the Chicago area where we were living at the time where they had this big display of this big bean and uh, it was just kind of uh, a nice little memory that um, I wear this almost every day because it's delicate, it's light, and it's just, um, just goes with everything from you know, even when you're dressed up to just a t-shirt. And it then became more um, significant and memorable to me because after my granddaughter was born and I would hold her and she was strong enough to, you know, sit upright, she would always touch this. And she never tugged at it. She never pulled it. And I would just always say, oh, that's Noni's pretty. That's Noni's pretty. And it's so funny because I always have it on. And just a couple of days ago, I did not have it on. And she came over and I picked her up. And she was feeling for it, looking for it. And she just said, oh, gone. And I knew what she was talking about. She was talking about my necklace. So when I put it on... The next day or later that evening and she said there it is so it's something that she associates like she associates my glasses and me because if she comes over and i've been getting ready and i don't have my glasses on two things she says to me noni guesses shoes because that means then we're ready to go outside so i have to put my glasses on and i have to put my shoes on and now she even recognizes when I have this on. So that's a kind of a special little necklace. And along um, the line of the Tiffany um, jewelry, this is a very special um, bracelet that my son purchased for me one year um, for Christmas. And um, the only thing, I love it. It's delicate, it's dainty, it just has these, um, it has the chain and the little square circles or, I don't know, they're circle inside and square on the outside, but it's this class I don't like at all because has this slipped through my wrist? Yes. And thank heavens it happened when I had a very heavy sweater on and a coat and it it just caught, I guess, as my hand and arm were, was going through the coat and it slipped through and it ended up just falling into the cuff. So um, I'm going to take this in and have a different clasp of some sort put on it so that I can wear it with much more ease. But I just love it. It's delicate and it's pretty and it's, you know, sentimental because it was a gift purchased um, for me by my son. And um, another, now some of these have been gifts that have been given to me. Um, this is another um, Tiffany necklace that I have. I'm, I'm taking them off of my little necklace holder and I should put them right back so I don't lose these. Is my uh, double heart. This is the, I think it's called the mini heart, and it's, of course, in the Tiffany blue. Um, I wear this pretty frequently on a daily basis. I change it out. Um, I just am a heart. I love the um, symbol of heart. I love it in earrings, on shoes, in bows, um, on a shirt, in necklaces, in bracelets, earrings. I love hearts. And uh, I always have. So I just kind of stick with what I have. And like this would look really pretty with this pearl necklace that I'm going to talk about in a minute. 
and um, sometimes I layer my uh, jewelry like that and um, so that and that doesn't have any sentimental value per se it's just um, a heart necklace that I really like um, and this is another little heart necklace and I believe this is so petite and so tiny and I love this and I believe this is one um, of the little pieces that I purchased on Etsy several years ago when Etsy first started to kind of hit the market and uh, I don't know what the significance is. It's just a teeny tiny little heart that's, um, you know, is strung through this little very petite um, necklace. And so I love that. I think that's real pretty. And I like wearing dainty, um, lightweight um, jewelry when it comes to, you know, little necklaces like this. Another piece that I wear all the time is my heart. And this one's done in the pink on that side you can see it's the pink bead um, bracelet I wear this all the time I never take this off I mean it's rare if I take it off I'm taking it off to um, clean it and I know that's probably bad but I get in the shower with it and I just it's just part of my wrist I wear that all the time along with my bean necklace which is oh boy where did I put it see that's why I should put it all back in the holder. Oh, right here on the side. I'm going to do that right now so that I don't have a mishap with it later. There we go. Another little favorite necklace, and I don't know anything about it other than it's just this tiny little delicate little pearl necklace that I picked up at an antique store. And it has a pretty good um, back clasp. But it's just so, oh, I have this one on, but as you can see, it's just the tiniest little beads. It's just so dainty. And um, when I saw it, it just, I bought this several, several years ago. And I often think sometimes, I wonder who wore that or who that belonged to. And I don't know anything about it, but I know I liked it. So I bought it at an antique store, and I just think it's a fun little piece. Um... Another, oh, I don't want, oh, this is another fun bead, beaded necklace. Oh, I'm going to get it down. I don't want everything to, this is called a rice bead necklace, and this is um, representative of um, Charleston, South Carolina, and when we were out vacationing there, um, down at the marketplace, I purchased this, and the these rice beads, of course, is significant to the area there um, concerning their um, rice production years ago, and um, they make these beads in all different um, sizes, lengths, long. Um, they have beautiful rice beads that are triplicated, duplicated. You can wear them long, short, twisted. Some are bigger, but most of them represent um, just the little size of a rice. Um, and um, there, you can read online about the significance of these and the time era that they're um, replicated for and it's really it was really interesting and it it's a really delicate um necklace but it does have a little bit of weightiness to it and i just loved it i loved the way it looked and um so on that particular trip that we took was for my husband's 50th birthday and we were with other family um and friends and uh, so I purchased one of these um, for myself and my very best friend and I bought him and I gave her it, her necklace and bought mine and we put them on so that we could remember our fun fun um, Charleston South Carolina um, trip that we took that year and I wear this 
quite a bit also. I love it. It's just, it's just one of those necklaces that feels good when you're wearing it. So another um, favorite piece, which is relatively new for me in the last maybe five or six years, is the Pandora bracelets, which um, was started for me by my goddaughter. And um, my um, goddaughter and my kids have just purchased the, some of the beads and they represent different phases and I have my granddaughter's birthstone and um, just the fact that when she was announced she's a girl and so a little pink and so I'm just adding on to them and I've seen some really pretty um, Pandora bracelets that other people have and sometimes they have two or three on and their little um, bracelets are so full and so hopefully um, you know I'll get mine full because it's a fun bracelet to wear and uh, another uh, representative I mean another bracelet that's indicative of what I love is this teeny tiny delicate heart bracelet and um, this is a beautiful bracelet and this was um, bought for me by my goddaughter for a birthday gift one year and I wear this piece um, frequently too because it's very delicate very light and I like to layer some of my you know bracelets together when I'm wearing them but this is another um, favorite piece that I have and also this piece but again this is a little heart um, chain um, bracelet but it has this latch and I'm just so conscientious when I'm wearing these types of bracelets but again heart because I love hearts and um, I, I just I have to take them in I'm gonna have to get a different class put on them so that I don't have that fear constantly that I can possibly lose it um, the next piece is um, this dangling oh guess what heart um, it's not a true lariat necklace um, I don't know maybe some people refer to these as but um, the chain just goes through the center bead and then it just has these dangling hearts on it and it's just a sterling silver necklace and I have these um, matching earrings and I wear this mostly you know for dress up occasions because this is super delicate but it just is one of those really pretty necklaces that you know you see it and you just you know it's like oh boy that's just got my name all over it it's just so pretty these pretty much are the um, uh, jewelry pieces that um, have some significance to me and some sentimental value this is also a necklace this is also from Italy and this is a medallion and it's um, a medallion of the Blessed Mother and um, again it's on this beautiful gold chain and this was uh, given to me by my grandmother um, sometimes my mom will ask for it because she wants to um, wear it and um, you know I always caution her that was my gift that was grandma's gift to me so make sure you don't lose it but it is a beautiful beautiful medallion and this also was purchased um, oh gosh I'm trying to think I, I believe it was a trip that my grandmother didn't go back um, to Italy during this time I think this is 24 karat gold also and that's very very sentimental to me and um, it's just a beautiful piece so another casual everyday piece that I wear all the time that's just crazy pretty is um, my watch and it's just my Kate Spade big face watch and I love it because I can see the time really well on it and um, it just has the traditional Kate Spade um, symbol and uh, I love it it's just really sweet and I wear it so much and I love it I wear this all the time so these are some of my favorite pieces it's not like this um, 
exorbitant. Oh, oh, wait, wait, I forgot. My newest pieces that I just love, of course, <laughs> are my Nouvelle Pearls. And I am wearing um, the Azure Pearls today. It's just really pretty with um, this particular top, and I love it. It's um, a really a pretty one for spring and summer, and um, I'm wearing it. This is the convertible necklace, so you can wear it as a short string, and then the piece that comes off is a bracelet. These are awesome. I've talked about these before. I love them. I am adding to my collection, and um, I have a couple of pair of earrings, and my favorite, favorite Nouvelle pearls are the classic whites, and these are just beautiful. Now, I don't keep any of my good pearls out at all, open on display. I keep them all. They come in this neat little, um, kind of like a I don't know, it's not velvet, but it's just a really neat little pouch. And I keep them in my jewelry box um, because I don't want elements to get on them like hairspray and deodorant or anything else that's out. Everything that I have on display is pretty much what would be my costume jewelry or my sterling silver, which I can polish up. And there again, I'm very um, conscientious about having my jewelry on and when I'm putting on um, my perfumes or my you know hairspray or anything like that that I'm using I make sure that I either remove my jewelry or that I'm putting my perfume on and letting it dry before because and especially if I'm wearing pearls I will always get all of that done and the last thing would be to put my pearls on but there's a beautiful um, collection that's online and I will link it below um, I've linked her channel many times with these because I think they're beautiful they're handmade um, she's a professional um, individual and she has her own little uh, Nouvelle pearl and apparel shop and um, they just they're high quality they feel good they look good and um, I get lots of compliments when I wear them and what's sentimental to me about these now because she's just really I don't know I think I bought my very first um, classic white pair um, it's probably going to be three years ago, maybe this summer. And um, I love pearls because pearls are just so classic. And I've loved them since I was a little kid. I don't think I've ever owned a real, really good pair of pearl um, necklace or bracelet. I have in the past been given pearl um, earrings. And I know I still have them just as studs. And I also many, many years ago, um, purchased a pearl ring, and my husband bought me a pearl ring um, for a Christmas several, several years ago with my birthstones, and of course, I lost the pearl. So, I, uh, but she has her own shop, and she makes these pearls. They're convertible pearls. Um, she has, they come in an an array of colors and what's so awesome about these pearls the convertible is I've even purchased them for my daughter-in-law so that someday she may be able to separate her pearl and hand down maybe the bracelet or in years to come if she buys a pair of studs that she can pass them on to her daughter for a special occasion like maybe when she's married to wear something borrowed or what however you know there's just so much that you can do with a piece of jewelry to make it sentimental to make it special and it doesn't mean that it has to be high dollar or you know as you can see I didn't show you anything with diamonds in it except my wedding ring um, so I think it's, um, you know, what they mean to you and what they represent. And I have even purchased these for others for gifts because I think they're beautiful, they're classic, they're traditional, and, you know, they can just take a tea, it, a, a really pretty pearl necklace can take a t-shirt or a plaid shirt and can really dress it up. And that's what's fun about 
um, wearing jewelry because you don't have to say, well, I don't wear jewelry be or I only wear jewelry when I dress up or go out because you can find a piece of jewelry like maybe um, a simple little heart necklace or a bean necklace um, that becomes something that you wear every day and it's kind of part of your look and it becomes a part that you know even your baby granddaughter recognizes um, that I always have that little bean necklace on so um, I hope you enjoyed this video and my little sharing of um, some of my favorite little pieces and um, what some of the significance is behind them and what they represent so when I take these gold hoop earrings out and I just want to wear them um, I don't need a special occasion but I do know that when I do take them out and wear them it reminds me of my grandma so until next time be kind be humble and age gracefully bye